Hey, Internet, how's it going? Final Fantasy Director hopes the ending will make fans cry and the game to have a very similar impact to Final Fantasy VII. And pretty much, you know, Hajime Tabata pretty much expressed that, um, uh, expressed and said that, or at least, you know, he said that he wanted Final Fantasy XV to have a very, very, very emotional ending so that people can cry that, and that they get really, really, really attached to these characters. And pretty much he was was on the quote of saying, I want to create a very, a very emotional ending to the game and I want to make, make, make as many people cry as possible. You're spending so many hours playing games, so when I finish a game, game and lit, um, uh, and it ends on a sour note, note and doesn't move me, it gets me disappointed. At least make make me cry or give me some 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 emotion. I want to give um a uh, um, give a moving ending for the consumers who who invest so much so much time. So here's the thing, or. Pretty much, I uh, the only real story thing that I know about Final Fantasy XV is the fact that Final Fantasy XV actually has um, is that we have our main characters. Okay, we have Angel. or say we have not Angel, not I'm gonna say not Cloud, not Squall in a suit who lost like like who's really thin and not this, and the girl from the gas station. That's pretty much about it. Other than that, though, the story is pretty there. Or at least I don't know what it is. Or at least I know that 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 they're fighting some type of re revolution. But here's the thing, man, about Final Fantasy VII. Okay, which I which I hope that he caught on to as to why people were really, 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 really emotional. And people they actually like char characters like Zack and Cloud and Sephiroth and just about every, um, every, uh, everybody else, but like Cloud and Zack are like are like the top two of that of that series. And pretty much, I really hope that he understands that Zack Zack went through a struggle. Zack actually kind of went through like a normal fucking character arc 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 of a man knowing what he wants to be. And then actually growing into that. So, you know, I want to be a hero. And then, then like, well, like you see him when he's actually carrying the Buster Sword and actually using it. It's like, oh, wait, he's he is a hero now. So I do under so like, so like he's doing heroic, um, heroic, heroic things and it's helping his friend and doing all this other stuff. And he was just dealt a bad, a bad, a bad hand in the end. Same thing for Cloud, of Cloud being, I want to got, say, like, I want to leave my home and I want to be soldier I didn't make it then shit happens to where that he just gets dealt a bad a bad hand and then pretty much just realizes that he's now living his life in his friend's image and then it doesn't take until like like a year and a half later to where that he actually just remember um, just fucking remembers that him even going into a catatonic ton tonic state to where is that you actually see this char character beaten, broken, to where that he actually has to go back into, um, uh, to, to to where like his real self self comes out. You even see him like in the future to where that he even grows even more. So pretty much you think about that, and it's like, or not even in the movies. The movies actually kind of fuck clouds and character char character up in a lot of people's eyes, especially because at the end of the game he wasn't acting like that. But still. It's a thing of like if you really want to make people emotionally invested in this, like in these characters, just give them a very reasonable understanding goal, and then just deal them deal just somewhere down down the road of them doing their job. It has to be a series of painful events, not like Final Fantasy, not like Final Fantasy X, because again, everything in which that fucking Titus Titus was fucking talking about in that game was fucking was it was to the point of a immature person of saying okay you are gonna let these pe people die and it's like yes they have to to save the world if you want so like to save thousands you have to kill one so that makes a lot of sense but but also like when you think about Final, Final Fantasy 7, Final Fantasy 8, 9, things like that which don't really kind of live on that crux of one person dies to save everybody else it's this it's a main character who has a normal goal and they get dealt a bad a bad hand as the story goes on then their character grows from that which 
could actually help out this story a lot. And it does seem to where that they do actually have that going on in this one. But the only real way to make pe people cry in the end, or at least for Final Fantasy Crisis Score, is just kill off a char character who people fucking love in a very dramatic, uh, in a very dramatic fashion. Which that did actually kind of fuck fuck things up when like they remade Final Fantasy VII. So, or at least Final Fantasy VII as Crisis Core. And they got that prequel out uh, out of the way. So, you know. I'll catch you next time on the next John Graves show. Tell me what do you think about this down there in the comment section. See you on the next see you all next time. I'm out. Keep please keep watching anime, keep playing video games. Hey internet, thank you for watching that video. If you uh, if you like what I'm doing on here, please, please show me uh show me a little bit of uh, my support. Like my video, go ahead and um, uh, subscribe and share this video with some of your friends. Also, if you, uh, also if you, yeah, if you want to check out my uh, latest latest video, check uh, say like click the link right over there and send you to my latest video or at least one of my other videos talking about another topic. Also, f also for my reading friends out there, check this book out right here. It's, it's called <laughs> it's called Ibarra. It's by my friend Deshaun R. Smith. And honestly, yes, I know that this thing man, is pretty much a fucking Bible, but hey, but hey, it has a lot of love, care, and a whole bunch of like enthusiastic shit in here. So yeah, go ahead and check that out. I'll see you next time.